Hey guys, welcome to xtdesign.com. In previous tutorial, we have discussed precision and accuracy. Okay, in this tutorial, we are going to discuss about what are the different sources of errors in the measurement. Okay, so now, as we said earlier, it is not possible to measure any dimension uh, exactly to the true value. Okay, there there definitely there will be an error okay so we can uh, uh, reduce it or otherwise we can consider some error so that based on applications okay so uh, in this tutorial we are going to discuss about what are those different sources of errors so let's get started first of all what is an error so error is the difference between the true value and the measured value okay error is difference between true value and the measured value okay so that is what the definition of an error in the measurement okay now there are two types of errors okay so first one is absolute error And the second one is relative error. Okay, so what is meant by absolute error? Absolute error is nothing but the magnitude of the error. Okay, so the like uh, so this is same as the true the difference between the true value and the measured value. So this is what an absolute error where the relative error is nothing but which is relative to the size of the measurement okay let's we can simply write it as it is a ratio to ratio of absolute error to the measured value okay absolute error by magnitude of measured value so this is what relative error okay now we are going to discuss about the sources of these errors in the measurement okay let me raise this thing now i will show you a tree diagram of the different types of errors i mean the sources of errors okay these are the three different sources of errors or we can say that these are the three different types of errors one is the static error instrument loading error and the dynamic error in static error again we will have three different types of errors reading error char characteristic error environmental errors and in instrument loading errors also we have two types loading errors and the environmental errors and in dynamic errors we have two types those are systematic errors random errors okay let's discuss uh, them individually okay the first one is static error static error means nothing but it won't have any relation to the time variation in the measurement okay so that is what static error that uh, the these types itself saying that uh, reading errors characteristic errors environmental errors reading errors are um, the parallel axis errors errors which means while taking uh, while reading the final result on the dial uh, so we have to uh, see the dial indicator uh, normal to our uh, eye so if we see it with some uh, with some inclination the values might be wrong okay so that is what parallel axis error and the second one is interpolation error okay so interpolation error is nothing but let's say we have this dial in between these two graduations on the dial okay so while considering it let's say if it is 5 it is 6 uh, we are going to consider it as 5.6 or something so this might be wrong because our assumption the interpolation assumption is might be wrong and 
this is a chance where we can get an error right so this kind of interpolation error might occur under static errors okay now, second one is characteristic error characteristic error so the characteristic error means uh, so every instrument will have its theoretical performance okay so when it fails to reach that theoretical performance it is considered as the characteristic error okay fail to fail to attain the theoretical performance of the instrument so that is what a characteristic error environmental errors so environmental factors such as wind temperature humidity and uh, sometimes even the magnetic fields and the electrical fields also will have some effect on the components of these measuring instruments and causes an error so these are all comes under the environmental errors under static errors okay and the coming to the second uh, type of error instrument loading errors instrument loading errors so these are the errors occur while we are trying to measure anything if we put an extra pressure on the object by means of the instrument so the object might get uh, change its dimension due to the over pressure by the instrument you got it right so when we apply an extra pressure by using that instrument let's say uh, take vernier caliper and uh, if we try to measure this ball diameter so if we apply too much pressure on this one this diameter if this material is soft this diameter will change so due to by applying that extra pressure okay so this is these kind of errors comes under instrument loading error okay and the environmental factors these are also might affect the object to change its parameter so that we won't get that true dimension of the uh, the object right so the uh, environmental factors also uh, will have an effect uh, to get that errors right so that is what environmental factors under instrument loading errors okay the last one is dynamic errors let me rub this one yep perfect now dynamic errors let me rub this too dynamic errors okay so the dynamic errors which will occur during the uh, measuring measurements okay so which is directly have the relation with the time so that is what a dynamic error okay in dynamic errors there are two different types of errors one is systematic error as we mentioned here and the second one is random error i can say errors so the first one is systematic error so these will this systematic error means like the error will occur at some period of time okay with some interval of time so it will occur uh, uh, throughout the measurement okay so that is what systematic error occurs at a certain period of time those are called systematic errors and these can be controlled and can be eliminated sometimes can be eliminated as well at some sometimes 
and coming to random errors these random errors unpredictable in nature so when they gonna occur we cannot say okay unpredictable and also cannot be controlled but we can correct them at final results can be corrected at final so these are the different sources of errors in the measurement one is a static error instrument error instrument loading error dynamic errors and static error we have three and instrument error we have two and dynamic errors again we have two so this is all about the sources of error in the measurement and actually we have a prepared article on this one if you like to read it uh, you can find the link in the description this is the article uh, you can find the link in the description okay so that's all for today hope you like this video please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get an update when we post a new video thanks